Uh, so I'm going to finally make the Dishonored power tutorial. Uh, but I'm gonna show you only how to do the blink because the time bend is really easy to do. Just time scale. So I just imported the uh, characters uh, and the environment standard assets just because they could have a grass texture. Because they like it. And there we go. Uh, next, I'll add my uh, oops. Uh, I'll add my first person character to the uh, here. You can use your own if you want to. I'm just gonna use this map already. Okay. There we go. Uh, now I was going to set a little bit of your oops settings for myself because I like these. Okay, there we go. Nice. Now let's create a script. Um, let's call it power wheel, even though it's not gonna be a wheel. Okay, uh, now let's make a public uh, game object, which will be our wheel. And we're gonna make public other game object, which is gonna be our called, uh, it's gonna be the button. There you go. Um, we're going to make an if input.getKey down. Now it's going to be a uh, tab for now. Kiko dot tab. There we go. And we're going to make wheel dot uh, set active to be true. Let's do the same for our butum. Yeah. And just want to copy this. And except the uh, down, we're gonna get a uh, up. So the reason why we're not using a key down is because it's just going to keep enabling it, which is not necessary. So we're just gonna use key down instead of just get key. So this we just want to set this to false. And there we go. We got our basic here. We don't need more. Uh, speech tree. Get out of here. Uh, next, we're going to make the blink itself. Blink. Mm, come on. Uh. Oh yeah, I gotta do one thing. Um, power wheel on is power wheel on. So I set this to can we set a static variable to true or false? I don't think so. Oh, we can. Nice. Then what we can do is an if input dot get uh get button get you know let's just let's just first make our variables. So we need the the ball, you know, to indicate where we're going to go. So let's make a three real quick and let's make a New material, call this ball, and we're going to make it transparent. We're going to make it sort of violet. Uh, I'm just going to put that here. And not going to be smooth. And uh, let's make it 
Yeah, they should do it. Let's so all hide it real quick. And now let's make a public transform. Let's make a game object. We game object. Uh, just called um, ball for now. I'm gonna make a private uh, hit. Uh, hit it, no. Um, raycast hit. Cut it. Raycast hit. Um, that's it. So. On what server we're gonna make bald dot set active to be false. To get button down, we're going to make if physics dot break. Uh, you can use a capsule cast uh, here if you want to, but I'm going to be using a raycast because it's more interesting because you can teleport through uh, places you wouldn't be able to. Walk through because it's too narrow. We're going to be using right cast. Uh, now what? Let's make a public transform or cam because we're going to be right casting thing from now. Oh, why is it not? No, wait. We're going to break us from our cam, but position. Cam dot forward and max distance. This is for you to set. I'm just gonna set it to no distance and well, infinite. And there we go. There, uh, we want to make a uh, uh, uh we're going to make the uh, ball dot position. Now transform the position equal <coughs> equals to no wait that's how we do no wait it's equals yeah uh, we're going to make a hit dot dot transform dot, no 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 it's hit dot point and yeah, there we go this should work right nope and we'll get pull oh dur uh Ugh. Fire to this is our left mouse, I think. Now does it work? Yeah, okay, it's good. And oh, okay, let's get back. Uh, we can just do power wheel. We can just do a direct uh, reference. Is yeah, we can do this. And. If you no wait, what am I doing? I have completely forgotten how to do it. Uh, oh, God damn it! Okay, so this should work, and I'm just going to make a another one to make this. Except get button up. Um. E. Uh, E okay. Now this time instead of this we're going to be doing a transform dot position to be equals to ball dot the transform dot position and then after this we want oh yeah we gotta we gotta enable it first here to be true. Uh this should work. Let's go here. Um, ball cam. Let's play. Uh, what? Oh yes. Yeah, sorry. This time we gotta use get button because it's got. It, it has to constantly update it. Uh, its position. Oh, well, well. Oh, what is this? What is happening? Oh yeah 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 I, I forgot you gotta disable a collider or either make it a trigger because you're just gonna keep hitting the the spear 
So yeah, yeah, there we go. This used to work. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, okay, it works, but we need to work on the wheel now. It is gonna be a pretty long tutorial. But who cares? You wanted a power tutorial, I'm giving you a power tutorial. Let's make it. You know what? Now that I think about it, we don't need a wheel. We can just use a button. Over. If let's create the object UI button. There we go. I'm just going to be using the default button here. Just look like meh. And we're going to do. We're going to make a. <coughs> uh, we're going to make a pub. Yeah, public. Void, uh, rest, um, uh, we're going to make this to be true. So you, nope, you, you're going to be true. Then we need Uh, what's the point of making this? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna set it to true, and for testing purposes, we're just going to make a void uh, other test equals false, just in case you have more than one powers. And yeah, we should be. We just need to make two buttons this time. We're just gonna call this one. Uh, bl blink. One's blink, and then the next one is um, uh, the next one is um, uh, what is it? Time bend. Okay, there we go. Let's just put them into a, an empty wheel. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm sure things are nice. We'll just disable this one, but we're going to enable it later. And, and yeah, uh, and also we need to check this time if power wheel dot is this. And there we go. Uh, oh yeah, we need to make sure the buttons. Do something. We're gonna drag in the power wheel. Remember, we should be dragging it somewhere else, like a uh, Osmini manager. We need to make time dot time scale equals zero. Uh, a, you can use time scale zero point five or point three uh, for time bends, but we're going to be using zero and one for Complete freeze and resume it so it can be easier. I made a slow motion in the power demo that I made earlier. A lot earlier. Here, uh, power wheel rest and power wheel other rest. Uh, uh, yeah, see now we can't use it, uh, oh yeah, we got, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, no, no, that's not speed, uh, it's cursor dot visible equals true, and then here visible equals false, and then cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode none and then cursor lock mode equals locks yeah so this basically makes us be able to use so here I was select compot see if we can do this let's select bleem and now we can teleport and let's select compot again and we can't teleport 
So, thank you for watching my tutorial. I finally made it. Uh, and see you next time.